So how did the Las Vegas real estate market do for June 2019? Well, that's what we're talking about today, and we're starting right now. everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing by clicking one of those buttons down below and even that little bell for notifications because I talk about a lot of cool stuff Las Vegas related and if you're going to be living here, you need to know. Welcome to the July issue of my monthly minute market update for Southern Nevada. In this issue, I will be going over June 2019 numbers. Stick around to the end and I will go over the four top trends that is happening in the Las Vegas real estate market today. Sorry I'm getting this out a bit late. Um, I had a few changes going on in my life. Actually, I actually have good news. I switched over to a new brokerage called Home Realty Center. Very excited to start a new adventure. Unfortunately, Brian is leaving the real estate business and actually moving home to uh, Oklahoma City so we are no longer a team <laughs> uh, but that doesn't matter because I am still here and I did all the work anyway so I don't need him <laughs> uh, so today in this issue obviously we're gonna go over what's happening in the real estate market this year we could tell that the housing market has been cooling down the resale market is definitely seeing a lot fewer purchases than 2018 as well as a slower price growth and a sharp rise in available listings. Home builders are closing fewer sales because of the drop in purchases of single family houses. However, they are selling more condos and townhomes, which are typically less expensive. Now, the key to remember about buying a townhome or a condo is that their HOAs tend to be a lot higher. Yes, it is less expensive to purchase, but what are you gonna be paying in HOA fees? Oftentimes, it's over $150 a month on top of the master plan community fee. Most of these places are in a gated community, so you will be paying the gated community association fee on top of the master plan fee. So think about that before you really consider buying a townhouse or condo. And especially with condos, they're very strict on um, who they loan to. If you have an FHA loan, you can forget about getting a condo. There's very few condos in the city that accept FHA loans. Reasonably priced homes in the northwest side of town, you can find something really decent in North Las Vegas and the northwest, 250 and under. I mean, that's really an, an okay price, I think. But anyway, let's get back on track. Last year, builders had closed the most sales in 2018 in more than a decade. Buyers paid record prices for newly built homes. But sales volume overall has tumbled as buyers move away from the builder's best product, which is a single family house. And they are typically now going for the condos or townhomes like I just mentioned. Home sales in Summerlin were down 13% this year for the same six month stretch for 2018. 28% down for Inspirata, 4% down for Cadence, and 8% down for Sky Canyon. Okay, so that's enough talking about the new home bills. So let's get down to the real nitty gritty of the real estate market. According to the GLVAR, which stands for the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, there were 2,903 single family houses that sold for the month of June. Down 11.5% from May and down 11.1% from June 2018. And the medium sales price of previously owned single family homes, which compromises the bulk of the market, was $304,000 in June, up 1.3% from the previous month and up 1.8% from the prior year. Southern Nevada also had a total number of 4,207 new listings for the month of June, down 8.5% from May and up 8.1% from the prior year. However, there were a total number of 7,815 single-family houses listed without offers at the end of June, down 0.5% from May and up 80.3% from the prior year. And there's still about a 2.7 month of housing supply in Southern Nevada, up 12.4% from May and up 102.8% from 
from the prior year. 57.7% of the closings for June were on the market 30 days or less. Basically, in my other videos, months of supply is a good indicator if it's either a buyer or seller market. We are definitely not in a buyer market just yet. We're still in a seller's market because our months of supply is still at 2.7%. So we're not a balanced market either, um, but I still think that um, homes are staying on the market a lot longer than they should and um, because of the prices are still way overpriced. Anyway, back on to the numbers. <laughs> so as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I was talking about the four key trends that are happening in the Las Vegas real estate market. Number one, slowdown in price growth. Prices are still going up, but they're not going up as fast as they were from a year ago. Last year, we were seeing around 14%, 14 to 15% in appreciation, um, but this year we're seeing maybe three to five percent and in a healthy market there's about two to five percent in appreciation so the homes are still going up not as fast as they were last year I don't know why they're going up because a ton of them have been sitting on the market forever <laughs> number two rising inventory inventory has nearly doubled over this past year about a year ago inventory was very low and the demand was very high we had a lot of people moving here from out of state but now that we have such strong inventory there is still demand however we can't sell the houses that are on the market and I have a theory about why this is happening, why we just all of a sudden got inundated with so much inventory this past year. I think because the investors who bought 10, 12 years ago, they bought at a really great price and now they're making some really great equity or appreciation. So they're selling now. Um, a lot of the homes that are being sold right now is because the investors are trying to cash out. That's my opinion. I could be absolutely wrong, but I think that these investors see how the market we are, you know, shifting down. We're not going to take a drastic shift. We're actually, like I've said in the past in previous videos, we're just stabilizing. So these investors are trying to get out quick so that they can make a huge profit. You know, some sellers are also wanting to sell as well um, because of the fact that they are seeing the shift in the market and wanting cash out before the market crashes but the market's not going to crash that was the wrong terminology that i should that i used um I, again i've stated in the past i think this year is going to be a weak year but i think next year it's really going to pick up again um I, I have a lot of buyers that'll be ready next year and i don't know why people think 2020 something's going to happen with the market and it may, I don't know, I can't predict the future or what's gonna happen with the real estate market. I just know what's happening now. And um, the key is for these sellers to price their homes accordingly and not overprice it and price it to where it should sell at or what buyers are willing to pay, not what the seller should think they should get. Um, the key is to research what's been selling in the last six months and not what's on the market now having a good realtor to assess the market is key. Number three, fewer residential sales. With the prices going up, we're actually seeing that um, single family homes are not selling like they were from a year ago, obviously, because now one, too much inventory, that inventory is overpriced and things aren't selling. <laughs> and last one, number four, is the shift in buying condos and townhomes. Just like in new home builds, resales of um, townhomes and condos have gone up as well. Again, be careful on that. Uh, you may be getting a cheaper deal, but one, is the home big enough? Two, what are the HOA fees? HOA fees, as I said earlier in this video, tend to be crazy high in a townhome or a condo. I mean, typically they're about 150 plus. I see some of them two, three hundred dollars, and they really don't cover anything. Some of them may cover your water and sewer or trash, but most of them is just for maintenance and for the lifestyle of living in one of those types of communities. Most of them do have are gated, and most of them do have a pool and um, like exercise place or clubhouse. But that's you know, think about that when you are buying, and also 
as your real estate agent, I'll be able to help you find whatever is best in your price range all over the valley. If you would like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I posted a link to it down in the description below. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Las Vegas, give me a call at 702-370-5112. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my monthly minute market update for July 2019. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team. And I'm here to help you with all your real estate needs. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.